Hey everybody, welcome back. Again, we just finished the Taylor, now we have the Schecter C1 Elite. It needs a setup. Uh, it has a loose strap button. Uh, it needs to be have be dialed or toothpicked or something and reset. That's the tailpiece, this one here. I just brought it up to tune, and his tuning with 946 is a half step down. Alright, so I polished up these three frets. You can see what the original looked like. And when you got down here to the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th fret, you can see what a big difference that is. Get it in the light for you a little bit. You see what a big difference. And so I'm just going to do that all the way up there. But first, we're going to take this screw out of this strap button because it's really stinking loose and stripped and it just comes right out. And that's a small enough hole that I am going to use a toothpick and some wood glue. So you don't want to use the pointy end of the toothpick. We want to use the fat end of the toothpick. So we're going to get rid of the pointy end and we'll stick this in the hole and get our pencil pull it out just a hair because I want it to be recessed so we marked our pencil where we want it to be and I'm going to take and cut right where that is with a cheap pair of scissors get some tight bond original Pull up on it. Get your other bottle of Type Bond Original. Pull up on it. There. Just to keep things neat, we use a little sticky pad. Put a little bit of glue right there. That's all we need. Remember to close your Type Bond. I'm going to make sure I get a bunch on the end and a bunch on the toothpick. And it's going to go in a hole. And while we're doing all this setup jazz, it's going to set up in there. Type bond is water soluble. So I'm going to take my excess glue and just wipe it off. That's going to set up while we polish the rest of the frets and oil the fingerboard. So I'll be back. We have our string height set, I do believe. I'm at, um, excuse me, I'm at just a hair over 464 and 464. You can only measure the out outside uh, two strings because you only have two adjustment points for up and down. Let's check our relief. It uh, should have about 10 thou. Let's see, 3, 5, 7. And we do have 10 thou. Let's see if there's any string buzz. No, 
no fret buzz. Uh, let's check our pickup height. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, holding it to last fret, the 24th. That is a little high. That can go down. Still a little high. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, the thinner one for the triple side. Perfect. That can come down just a hair. Perfect. Okay. It looks like all, oh yeah, first fret height we want around 20. So let's see where that is. Oh, that's good. That's good. Good. There's no open fret. No open fret buzz. Let's check our intonation. Intonation. So we're going to move some saddles towards the nut. And that's okay because we've got plenty of room to do that. Okay, the E's on. The B flat's on. The F flat. Just has to go that way just a little bit. To the third one. Not even a half a turn. It's really close. Okay, F sharp is on. C sharp is on. G sharp is on. Somebody's calling me. I'm gonna have to wait. E flat's on. Nope. Like I said, it was a little flat. Let's just move it. Not even a full turn. Still. I do that bend in the middle and at the bridge is to reset the string. Okay, the E's in. Oh, we gotta plug it in, don't we? There we go. Oh, yeah. Alright. Any issues there? No. Okay. bit of noise in the volume control but that's from not being used. It's gone. No, it's almost gone. I'll get rid of it. Okay, so Good. 
put this strap button back in here. The uh, wood glue has cured, I'm quite sure by now. And actually, I think I'm going to drill. I'm going to drill a hole. We're going to take our smallest itty bittiest screwdriver, or I'm sorry, drill bit. Try to be level as we can. Go right in the middle of the hole. Okay. Now you guys see me using my wife's candle. A little bit of wax on the threads makes it go in way easier. You don't go busting the screw or any of that silliness. You can see why it's tripped. It's just a really thin screw. It goes in quite a ways, but Just really small. I think they should go with a bigger diameter screw. I believe these are mah mahogany, mahogany, mahogany bodies. Okay, tight but not cranked. There we go. Schecter C1 Elite. I almost bought a C1 Acoustic Electric years back. I ended up buying a carbon. If you look back at some of my older videos, you'll see that carbon. It was an AE185 Acoustic. It was an electric guitar, Tele style body with neck through, with two humbuckers, Alan Holsworth humbuckers and a, an acoustic, yeah, actual piece of hunk of wood there with a bone saddle, the piezo pickup. That was my favorite guitar ever. But I've migrated to playing bass, so there you go. Uh, if you like what you see here, if you learned anything, or if you'd like to comment, please hit the like, subscribe, little bell for notifications. We always do this. This is the last thing we do. Just cutting the strings. If you live in the greater Pittsburgh area and you would like your guitar brought up to par like we did with this Schecter, send me an instant message on the Facebook. Also on the Facebook page you will see my phone number. You can text or call, get an appointment, get in here. Uh, remember we looked at those frets and how tarnished they were? Look how beautiful that is now. Remember I did the three? Now they all look like, like that. We also tightened the bushings for the tuners, cleaned up the humbuckers, set the pickup height, intonation, string height, relief, check the electronics, bingo bango. Take care of the old folks because they are special. Love your neighbor like you love yourself, and most of all, you have a good night. Peace.